Hello, happy gardeners. Welcome back to Stinky Ditch Nursery. Marla on camera again. Say hello, Marla. Hi. And today we're taking cuttings. We're at the start of March. We're just coming up to the start of the mar March in the UK and spring is springing. Well, you wouldn't believe it from the amount of rain. In the UK, it has been raining for the last five months. If there's anyone out there that can do anything about this, I like a bit of rain, but five months? Oh, come on. We need, the, yeah, if anyone can do anything about it, please, please help. Right. This time of year, honeysuckle, like this, is starting to put on a little bit of new growth. And um, Marla, if you spin in here and just show people, you'll, you'll notice it, if you've got one outside, you'll see that the leaves are starting to, the buds that were at the note, they're starting to sort of put on a bit of new growth. And so we know that the plant has come out of its dormancy over the winter and it's starting to grow. So we can take some cuttings now and know that it's gonna start putting some root on. For this, we need our honeysuckle plant, a pair of snips, pair of glasses if you like me and our cutting mix. Now our cutting mix consists of two things. You don't want any nutrition in a cutting mix. So we're using this which is a recycled grow bag. It's the sort of thing you get multi-purpose compost um, from the garden centre or nursery that you put your bedding plants in last year or your tomatoes or something like that. All the nutrition has been taken out of it by the plants last year and we can use this again. Don't chuck it away, use it. So I've got that and I've got equal parts of gritty sand. Marla, spin in, show people how gritty it is. It's just sort of quite a gritty sand. It's not the real smooth sort of play sand pit sand or builder sand. It's quite a gritty stuff. It's the sort of stuff that's used for laying patios. Um, in the UK it's called Biddeford grit, um, but grit sand, gritty sand, that's what we're after. And the, both of these I've sieved with a sieve on a spinning of that sort of size, you know, quite a fine sieve, all right? And what we do is we mix these two together in equal amounts, like that, put two together, give them a bit of a mix together, like this, and then once the thing starts to all look the same color, we know that it is thoroughly mixed together, all right? Do you want to sing a little song, Marla, while we're uh, doing this to no. entertain the people? No, no. no. No, you've got such a lovely singing voice as well. <laughs> right, that looks good enough. I'll get my pot and uh, we'll pop a bit of the compost in it and then give it a tap to get the air out of it. Now we want to leave a little bit of a gap at the top because when you water it, your water wants to sit on the top and then slowly seep down. If we fill this right to the top, the water is just going to sit there and all you're going to end up doing is um, watering just the top bit. Always bear in mind, with most things, it will penetrate about nine times um, the, the amount of water that you've got on the top there, like that. And because we've got a lot of sand in there, it's good drainage. Right, we're gonna take our cuttings out. The cuttings need to root, and on the plant, you will notice it has stem, like this, and it has points at which growth occurs. These are called nodes. So I know that this point here, and honeysuckle's ever so good at this, they're such tough plants. Excuse the fingernails, I get so many messages about my dirty fingernails, but I work in a nursery and I, I don't have time to wash my hands. So this point here will grow roots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it off there like that. There we go. And I'm gonna take this bit of growth off, that bit of leaf there. We're also gonna come up here and trim this like that. And then what we're going to do is, Mara, if you'd like to spin in a little bit, I'm going to pinch out the growing tip here. What this will do is, this will, the, the, the hormone within the plant that um, encourages growth is at this tip at the moment. That's why it's growing there. When I pinch that out, this hormone will go throughout the plant and we'll get some root growing down here. And then all I do is at the edge of the pot, poke it in like that. There we go. I give it a little bit of tap around the edge. We put it at the edge of the plot, pot because this is the last part of the pot to dry out. And so if it doesn't get watered for a bit, it may dry out in the middle, but the edge will still stay wet. And uh, if the roots are on there, it'll keep going. Now I'm gonna take a few more of these and just pop them around the edge of the plant. Oh, I'll do one more, I'll just show people, let's do one more. So uh, here's another bit here. So we take it uh, there, I haven't got my glasses on, so I'm doing this blind, let's put the glasses on. So I'm gonna pop that off there. I'm going to take off the green growth like that. And then at this point here, I'm going to snip it there like that. And then we're gonna get in and pinch out the growing tip like that. And then giving it a little bit of space, or if you'd like to show the people, I'm gonna pop it in like that. 
Make sure your leaves aren't touching each other because that can cause um, that can cause uh, rot and stuff like that. And that's it. That really is it. They're hardy plants, so we could leave this outside if we wanted. But make sure, I, I'm going to give that a little bit of water in a minute, make sure it doesn't dry out and the roots will start to grow. We'll notice when they come out the bottom and then once they're coming out the bottom, we can split up these plants and we plant them individually and we'll have lovely honeysuckle plants for the year. Anyway, it's been Robbie Phoenix down at Stinky Ditch Nursery taking some honey cut, subtle, uh, honeysuckle cuttings at the start of March. Thanks for watching.